Hello guys, this is Jerry speaking. Welcome to this uh, episode 4 of Bedtime Stories. Now last episode you have saw was a episode you, you saw recently about the a narration between me and Kyla. And today you're going to be seeing uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah 6 more, 6 parts of the episode. Where I can read you a story based on uh, what Bridget bought me called Little Treasury of Fairy Tales with full color installations of by Jerry um, and Bonatons, retold by um, Corey uh, Nash. Now, today we're going to be reading Jack and the Beanstalk. We're going to be reading this now to you. So let's read this now and. And we're going to do it anyway. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack who lived in the, with his mother. They were very poor. They owned only a cow who milk was sold. One day, the cow was stopped to give milk. Um, so sadly, they decided to sell her. Um, they decided to have no money. On the morning, Jack um, told the cow to um, to market. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. Um, her mother uh, warned him um, to get him a good prize, but no one was interested in the old cow. Okay, it kind of reminds me of making the beanstalk where it has magic beans in it, like in a deleted scene, just say. Anyway, um, just when Jack had decided to go home, an old man offered to trade his uh, magic beans for the cow. Just like I said before, but okay. Uh, since Jack had uh, no offer over after, he he took the beans and gave the man the cow. This is a long story. I'm going to show you this now. But that's fine. No need to worry. When Jack came home without any... Money. His mother flew, flew sorry, mock this moment, into the rage and uh, threw uh, out the beans um, that night uh, as they slept the magic beans and grew into huge uh, stalks. Okay, reaching toward the sky, imagine their surprise as the next morning when Jack and the mother woke. Jack would then climb the beanstalk to see what's going. What was uh? It makes sense. Didn't make any sense, but whatever. What was at the top of it? Um, way above the mm, uh, clouds, he found a mysterious huge castle. He knocked on the door and was met by a giant woman? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, Jack asked her to find some food, and she was warned him to give giant husband. Okay, doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Let the eat young boys. Nasty, but whatever. Um, but she let him up high in the cupboard to, to fetch him some. This is a different kind of ridiculous page right there. Look at that. Look at that. See that? I'm going to show This is one of the things I'm going to show you. Food. From this high in a place, Jack uh, could uh, her, hear the giant and, um, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he hot, be he alive. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Um, or be dead. Um, I'll grin his bones to make my bread. Okay. The giant's wife, um, does he have a wife or something? But in Disney related, he did not have the wife. Whatever. And yes, if you hear that, that was during tape in this episode, yes, I don't have an ear. I don't, I'm almost better with my ear fashion, just so I know. Anyway, John's wife told him uh, that there was um, no one else uh, there. He bought him this dinner, whatever. After he ate, the giant called for his uh, magic hen, the golden harp. The hen laid the solid gold eggs on command, and the golden harp played beautiful songs by itself. Soon the giant fell asleep and Jack sneaked out in his cupboard. He grabbed 
the hen, eggs, and heart, and ran out of the... Okay. This is a long story, but this picture here doesn't look too good to, to, to make out of it. Moving on. Castle. But the giant awoke and chased him. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with a giant close behind. When Jack reached the, the clown, uh, he quickly chopped down the beanstalk in seconds. The giant fell to the ground dead. Okay. Moving on. Jack brought his mother um, the golden harp hen and the golden eggs as the hen continued to lay the golden eggs forever. Okay, moving on. Uh, Jack and his mother were never been poor again. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's good. It's good. And so did the live happily ever after. That's the end of our story. So, climbing like that, it was just terrible. So that's Jack the Beanstalk. That's the end of our story. What I think about this thing, it was amazing. So, there you go. That's Jack and the Beanstalk. And that wraps up for episode 4 of Bedtime Stories. Stay tuned for the next one. Which is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. But until next time, this is Jeff saying goodbye. Peace out, baby. We got more um, bedtime stories for you guys very soon. But until then, Jeff Ross saying out. See ya.